First things first, measure the radius from the center to the tip of the propeller. In this case, give or take, it's nine inches. You take the widest part of the propeller, but it doesn't really matter. The same calculation works wherever. So you mark a point six inches, which is two thirds the distance on either side, on your piece of paper below. There's that point there. And on that side, do the same. Which is there. You measure the height at each of those points. In this case, that is 33 millimeters. In this case, it is 73 millimeters. You mark the approximate position of the center. If you're doing it properly, you would have a template and you'd get this all really accurately done. You get your ruler and you join up the dots. Now this is effectively the swept angle when the propeller is going round and round and round from that point there to get to that point there it passes through that angle and at the same time it rises by the difference between the two heights so the difference between 33 and 73 so it goes up 40 so at that point there it goes plus 40. We need to know what that angle is. And you get a protractor from one of the drawers here. It's the simplest thing to do, get a protractor and measure it. That angle is just a shade under 60, 59 degrees. Now, a circle is 360. So let's say that's 60 degrees. There are six 60 degrees in 360, so it goes six times. If it rises 40 millimeters, for one pass, it'll rise six times 40 millimeters for six passes. So 240 millimeters is the pitch, which is 10 millimeters short of 10 inches. So this propeller is a 18 inch diameter, 10 inch pitch. That's all there is to it. Simple. To explain this a little more, the pitch of a propeller is defined as the amount of distance that propeller will travel on one full revolution. So as it turns it moves forward like a screw and so as you go around the whole thing by the time you get back to the end it's moved forward a distance from where it started and that's to do with the rotation of the 
blades, i.e. the pitch. The steeper the, fur, the steeper the blades, the further they will move. So in this case you have a blade which is like this and as we've seen the blade is 40 millimeters from this point here to that point there. So as this blade moves every time it gets from to the next stage of its movement, it's moved forward 40 millimeters. And so as it moves, every time it goes round, the blade goes round, every time it gets the width of the blade, it's moved forward 40 millimeters. So by the time this particular propeller has moved six rotations, six segments, it's moved six times 40 millimeters forwards, i.e. it will have started here rotated round, move forward, and it will have moved 240 millimetres because that's six movements of each propeller. That is how you get the pitch. Hope that helps. The other thing to note about propellers is that they have right-hand propellers and left-hand propellers. This is a right-hand propeller and I'm getting rid of it because I need a left-hand propeller for my new engine and gearbox arrangement. The reason you have left and right-handed propellers is because some boats have two engines and when those boats have two engines, in order for them to go in a straight line, one engine or one propeller has to rotate one direction and the other propeller has to rotate in the other direction, counteracting the forces of each other. The gearbox I've got happens to be a left-handed gearbox, so I need a left-handed propeller. This one is a right-handed propeller, and I can tell that because when I put my hand on the propeller blade, the thumb goes against the central axle and similarly if I hold it comfortably in my hand the thumb sits there nicely like that against the blade. If I was if it was a left hand propeller, if I was trying to do this with my left hand I'd be holding it that way and it just doesn't just doesn't work whichever way you try it. So it doesn't fit in your left hand it fits nicely in your right hand that makes it, strangely, a right-handed propeller. Also, you will see that it rises from the left of the blade up to the right of the blade. Therefore, it's rising up that way, all the way upwards. Thank you and good night.